Good morning, guys. It's Thanksgiving. Well, it is the day before Thanksgiving. So tomorrow we're going to food prep, get everything ready. Not food prep, but we're going to cook. Um, and we're going to get everything ready for dinner. We're going to eat later on. We have a couple friends coming over. Um, and we're happy to have them. We love having people over. And so I have to go and I have to pick up a turkey because I never did. And I'm going to let it defrost over overnight which it should be fine um i have my special ways of defrosting stuff overnight <laughs> um but we're gonna let that defrost and then we are going to get everything ready i hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday i am having an incredible one right now myself we are jumping through getting stuff done getting stuff ready cleaning the house as you can hear the babies in the background watching her schooling it's super early in the morning so I gotta change, get ready. I'm gonna go to Target and I'm gonna get a couple things that I need. And yeah, so let's go pick out our turkey and let's get this day started. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so these are super ginormous, but they are, this one is $31.99. And then they have, smaller ones that are already like they have them brining which that's good makes it more flavorful and then they have the tiny ones like this is a super super big one and then of course they have some over there okay well i hope everybody is having a wonderful day so far and with that being said i'm gonna begin prepping my ham i have done my ham many many ways and i find that this actually is the best way not only do you get more meat out of it but you also can utilize whatever scraps you don't use, like the bone you can use to make beans, you can use to do a whole bunch of stuff. If you guys are new here, I want you guys to know, I've had a lot going on lately. I am trying to get back into the routine, but you bet your bottom dollar that I'm gonna get there. <laughs> um, I, I have a life, guys, and I am really trying, but I can guarantee you guys, you will love my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I am a real person. I don't sugarcoat anything, and I tell you how it is, and if I am having a bad week, bad month, bad year, I'm gonna let you guys know because that's just who I am. So, with that being said, again, let's jump back into it. So what I'm doing here is, you guys aren't going to see my face in this video very much, um, if any. <laughs> um, it is just a lot of food prep. Uh, I am peeling and cutting away at the ham that's on the bone. It is a pre-cooked ham. Um, it's one of the ones that you just reheat in the oven and, you know, put the glaze and everything on it. Those are my, it's a spiral cut ham. It is my favorite kind to use. Um, because it doesn't take forever to cook but as you can see I am just coming in and I'm cutting off the slivers that they had already done and I am layering it and then whatever else I have left I'm going to kind of just throw on top but you can see that you get so much more meat off doing it this way and it's so much more easier for people to be able to grab rather than you having to sit there or putting a knife out so somebody can cut it themselves and then risk somebody burning themselves and then it's just so much easier and then you know you have parents that have little kids that are holding two plates and that always irritated me and it was like I hate that so I like to cut it all off and sometimes I will do this in the crock pot. You can low, like low, uh, slow cook your ham and it comes out absolutely amazing also. Uh, this year I did end up putting it in the oven though. Um, just because I wanted it, you know, in the oven. It was just something that I really wanted to do. If you guys hear Miss Rachel in the background, <laughs> my daughter is sitting down and she is enjoying her time on her school tablet right now. So I allow her to watch and listen to all the educational stuff on there. But 
I am finishing up and getting all of this cut off there. And this time I did not save the bone only because we had so much food and we were gonna have so much leftovers. I could have froze it and then taken it out if I was gonna make some beans and stuff, but I just decided not to. So this right here is a packet that it comes with. It's like a glaze. So what I'm doing is I'm adding the entire thing to a bowl and then I'm gonna add brown sugar to this and I'm gonna mix it up really really good um, I do like a lot of glaze on mine so if you don't like a lot of glaze on yours then you don't have to but then what I'm doing is I'm going instead of using like water or something I use pineapple juice and I didn't show you guys, but I ended up adding a little orange juice to mine also, just for the acidity. Uh, it kind of breaks down the meat and it makes it a lot more tender, but you add the glaze mix, you add uh, brown sugar, pineapple juice, a little bit of orange juice. That's me eating the pineapple. <laughs> Listen, I was hungry and it was better to eat fruit than junk. I also added whole cloves because I love the, the, I don't know, I just love the way it makes it taste. So I added whole cloves and then I go in with some maple syrup. Um, you can actually add any kind of syrup that you guys want, even if you wanted to put a little vanilla flavoring into it and make it have like a little vanilla flavoring in your ham. That is super good also. One thing that my family is like, what I always bring if I go to somewhere, well, they normally come to my house, but I see I'm deglazing it with the, um, the rest of that juice. And then just to make sure I get it all out, but I, I'm the ham person. I've been making it forever. Then I'm going to take the entire jar. I was trying to be pretty and like, Oh, let me use my fingers. No, it didn't work. I'm like, forget it. I'm not going to be pretty for you guys. I'm going to get it done. My hands are clean. I'm going to throw some of this pineapple on there. And then I was like, wait a minute. I kind of want to keep some for myself. <laughs> so I kept some for myself. Then I topped it with more brown sugar and I'm going to kind of just uh, work it in a little bit. I wanted to work it in. I was trying to be appropriate because you know so many people on the internet are like, ew, you're using your hands. Shut up. I washed my hands. I don't want to hear it. If you don't want to wash, if it grow, uh, wash, if you don't want to watch me massage my meat, <laughs> then th th skip through it. That's all I have to say. So there it is, super delicious. Um, I'm gonna cover it. And then I'm gonna set it to the side cause I'm not cooking it just yet. So we're gonna get that set off to the side. Now what we are gonna do is we're gonna start on our cornbread. Um, okay, so there's many, many recipes the way that you can do this. And excuse me, I'm over here burping. Um, don't eat ruffled chips before you're gonna do a voiceover because whew, you just burp. Anyways, I'm adding jalapenos. I diced up some jalapenos. I wanted to do jalapeno cheddar. So I came and I used this recipe. You can find them anywhere online. And it's the Jiffy Box mix, um, like the cornbread one. And I, I'm just going to add all of the Jiffy mixes in here. And what I didn't show, I forgot to, is I did also add sour cream in it. And I did not get a video or I did not get a picture of what it looks like. Sorry, I had to stop and make the baby something to eat really quick, but I'm back. You didn't need to know that, but you do know that now. So um, anyways, <laughs> I, um, I'm making the cornbread. What was I gonna say? Oh, this is what I was gonna say. So I did not have the opportunity to video or take a picture of my cornbread. And I'll be quite honest with you, my cornbread burnt that night. I'm not gonna tell you why, you will have to wait till the end of the video to figure out why my cornbread burnt. It was not my fault. Um, I'm not very happy about why my cornbread burnt, but it burnt and we didn't get it. And yeah, so this I am just adding in either some cream corn, a regular can of corn. I put some shredded cheese in, sharp shredded cheese in there. My eggs, of course. Yep, that's my microwave in the background, guys. Um, I did 
jalapenos, you know, I got it all, all cheesy and goodness up. And let me say this, if we were able to eat it, it would have been delicious. Is there something at your guys' family gathering that did not turn out quite how you envisioned it or how you would have liked it? Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty upset about that one because that's my favorite. I also added some honey in there just to give it a little sweetness, and I do add sugar. I like to add sugar into mine. Um, like I said, I added sour cream. That was like, you guys didn't see that. Um, but I, it's just a couple, I think it's like two tablespoons, to be honest. Um, it wasn't too, too much. It was just enough to make it all good. And then you're going to mix, mix, mix. Um, this holiday season has been absolutely crazy for us. I am so glad. Oh, this is a stick of butter I did melt to put on top. Um, and then I'm just going to cover it and get it ready for later on. Kind of shake some of the butter in. But this year has been so crazy, guys. I'm so grateful that you guys have all subscribed to my channel. Whether it's you just being nosy or you just wanting a real person to, like, listen to or talk to. Because I'm not the kind on here to just beat around the bush. Like, I'm, I'm going to tell you how it is. I'm not perfect, guys. And this year has definitely... Whew, it's brought me through the ringer and I'm ready for it to be over. I'm ready for a new year. How do they say new year, new me? I don't need a new me. I just need a new year. Um, I, I, it has been extremely hard. Um, bills have been hard. Christmas is hard. Everything has just been extremely, extremely hard. And I don't think people want to tell you about that. But I will. I'll tell you. I don't think that I have honestly... And I'm going to start crying. Whew, this is supposed to be a happy video. I don't think that I have had such a hard year my entire life other than the year that I lost my little brother to suicide. Um, this year has definitely been one of the worst years of my life. Um, but let me just get back into this. Okay, so the honey wanted to do the turkey this year. Um, let me say this. This is not to get sympathy from anybody. I don't need your sympathy. I just want you guys to know that I'm real. So that's me showing you like, hey, I got nothing to hide. I'm real. Come at me with what you want. But guess what? I am a real person and we have real things going on. Anyways, all right, back to the happy video. My honey wanted to do the turkey. So that's what I'm letting him doing. He's basting it right now. He's playing his game. He's got his headset on. But this man definitely came back every like 30 minutes or so to baste his turkey. <laughs> um, in this bowl, I did cream of chicken soups and some cream of mush. I will cream of mushroom soups. And then I didn't have enough. So I did some cream of chicken. Um, I'm going to throw in some onions in here. I'm making my green bean casserole. I do like to fry up bacon and I also add bacon in it and I do get the pre-washed, pre-cut mushrooms and I kind of just crumble those with my hands so they're big chunks. You can saute them, um, but this day I really just didn't feel like it, so I'm just crumbling them with my hands. Excuse the arm, guys, my fat arm, but this was the best angle that I could get at right now and you're just going to have to live with it. Um, I did notice, though, this angle makes my gut look super big. I don't know why, but I promise you my gut's not that big in real life. If it, Hey, hey, I have nothing against big girls, big guys. It's okay, but personally, I just want y'all to know. Um, we just got a new puppy, and she's driving me bonkers, guys. The potty training, whoo. I know, squirrel, totally off subject. Okay, anyways, I added the creams in there. I added my onions in there, my mushrooms in there. I put my green beans in there. Um, you can do French style cut or you can just do the regular chopped, you know, green beans, any kind that you guys like. Add anything that you want in your green bean casserole. Like I said, I love to do... Um, what is it? I love to chop up bacon and do like sauteed bacon inside of it. Or you can get the bacon bits like from the bag of Costco ones. Um, I'm pretty sure I was probably yelling at one of the kids right there. 
I'm not, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, and then guys, use the foil pans if you can, because it's just a simple throw your garbage away. You don't have to sit there and wash so many dishes. But what I will say is please wash your dishes as you cook, because the more you wash as you cook, the better it is for you. And it's amazing. Okay, so I got some french fried onions. I could not find them anywhere. The only place that I could find some was not the ones that I wanted, but they were the ones from Target, the Target brand. They're perfectly fine. I was okay with it. Um, so I added some of those in there for an extra crunch and it kind of thickens the middle up a little bit. And then of course I do a layer on the top and I like to add some uh, onion powder on the top of mine and some garlic powder and what else do I add a little bit of pepper and I don't add salt because yeah I just don't add salt all right next we're doing a lot of food prep here guys this was Thanksgiving so I'm trying to give you guys as many recipes as I can so <laughs> um it's my thing I like cooking I am making my stuffing or my cornbread I'm not my cornbread my my uh, dressing as you guys call well we call it dressing or you can call it stuffing or whatever but I am using turkey sausage like I said before my honey does not eat pork and so I wanted to make sure that he was able to eat whatever he wanted um, I did cut up some celery in my food processor and onions and then I'm gonna add some salt and pepper you guys want to know how cool I think I am okay so I always see the cooks and the chefs use those little salt and pepper like wooden things I finally got one I feel so cool because I, I cook all the time so I, I was like Psh, I'm, I'm an actual chef now guys no you, you really want to know who I see and always uses it <laughs> Kim from the wads. Oh, you knew I was going to say it. You guys know I am like obsessed with her. Not in like a crazy kind of way, but like I literally feel like she's my best friend and she just doesn't even know it yet. Her and I are completely alike and it's like, yeah. So, and I'm from Florida and she lives in Florida. So it's like, yes, but I'm telling you, I got to meet you one day, Kim. I really do. We got to meet up. I'm telling you. <laughs> but yeah, I got that idea and I was like, I feel so cool. So I'm getting all my sausage grinded up in here and added with my celery and my onions and my seasonings. Um, if y'all don't got one of these meat mashers get one they're not expensive at all you can see that i'm kind of pushing the meat down but that's because i'm trying to get it all mixed in um you it they are amazing they're amazing so i'm just sauteing up the sausage getting it all coated in that like delicious flavors um because this really if you've never tried this to put it into your dressing or your stuffing do it all i do guys is i'm not gonna sit there and crunch up bread and anything else i ain't got time for it this already has seasoning in it why would you do it any other way it's super fast you can cut the bread up you can put it in the oven you can toast it but why you have so much stuff to do this day it's like there's no point so normally what i like to do is I actually like to normally do one box of each flavoring. Hear me out. The reason I like to do one box of each flavoring is because they all have different seasonings. One has sage seasoning. One has chicken seasoning. I believe the other is like turkey or whatever it is. But they all have a specific seasoning to them. So... I actually like to do one box of each. This this year, I, I don't know why I accidentally grabbed two of the chicken boxes, but I did stock up because they were on sale a couple months ago, and these can last a while. So um, I just used what I had. And this, I'm all about using what you have. Do not go out and spend money that you don't need to spend. So... I set that to the side. I added a little bit of liquid. I'm gonna add a little more liquid when I go to put it in the oven, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't want it to just be complete mush. All right, here we are getting started on mac and cheese. What I did was, y'all, 
If you know Italians, flavor your water. Salt your water. You need to make sure you salt it like the ocean. I like to add chicken bouillon because it gives it flavor. So you're going to bring it to a roiling boil and you're going to add in, add in your pasta and get that all. You don't want it extremely, extremely tender. You want it to be... Um, you want it to have a slight bite to it because you're going to end up putting it in the oven and it's going to cook more. So let it have a slight bite to it. You want to add some butter. And I like to use the country crock butter because it's, come on guys, it's margarine. It doesn't have to be all that fancy stuff. But it does coat the noodles so that way they, you don't want them to stick together. So just make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness. Um, make sure you coat them with the butter uh, that way way they like I said they don't stick so then we're gonna get our roux together I set that aside now we're gonna get our what is called a roux together I add more of the butter in there and okay you can call it margarine it is margarine um I added a couple tablespoons in there. I'm making a lot. As you've seen, I had two big boxes of the mac and cheese pasta I had, you know. Honestly, I like to use the pasta that are kind of like corkscrews because they hold all the flavor in there, but I couldn't, they were completely sold out at Save Mart. So I just found some regular macaroni noodles and I went with it. Then you're gonna add your flour in there. I used about a full half cup of flour, maybe a little bit more. Um, you want to cook down the flour. You need to cook it, uh, and this is going to cook it. You're gonna get all that, you know, F nasty flavoring out you're cooking it with the margarine it does look like a paste that's good guys don't worry continue to cook it down and continue to work it in there uh, as you can see I'm kind of just pushing it back and forth and I'm pushing it into my pan and then scraping it um, so that way it can you know begin and then I'm going to add quite a bit of heavy cream I'm pretty much going to use the entire thing so so that way I love my mac and cheese super super creamy um, and I'm going to kind of bring that to a boil as you can see it's starting to boil and then I'm going to add, okay so I'm going to add the whole can of the condensed milk but like I said that is like a, a half it's not a it's not a full one of the full half gallons but i think it's like a pint and then i'm adding milk which was about a cup maybe a cup and a half of regular milk as i said guys i am um making a lot i want you just to kind of gauge it with your eyes and once you get the feel for it you're gonna know how much you need to add i don't do measurements I i'll tell you the truth so I'm going to let that sit over there and I'm going to let that kind of cook for a little bit. And then I got a couple eggs. I think it was like three, maybe four eggs. I'm going to whisk these up and I'm going to pour them into the lukewarm noodles. The noodles have been kind of sitting over here for a little while. You do not want to cook your eggs in the noodles. So yes, and you can see my dishes. I haven't washed those ones. Those are for throughout the day. But you're going to... Put those eggs in your lukewarm noodles and you're going to mix them around and give them a chance to kind of merge with the noodles because then when you put your cheese in, you don't, you want to make sure that your eggs are kind of, I guess, processly cooked. Um, not so much as like when you put your cheese mixture and it's going to be super, super hot and you don't want it to like cook it all the way through. So now I'm going to add some garlic and i love flavors guys so i'm gonna add some onion powder and some garlic powder i'm a garlic fan this is Lari's seasoning and i'm gonna get that mixed up i'm gonna add some hungarian paprika and then this is my secret, Dijon mustard. I think I did one tablespoon of that, and then I think I may have added another tablespoon. You're going to be like, that's disgusting. Why did you add that? Look, trust the process, people. Trust the process. We're going to get in there. I'm going to mix that all up. And then I'm going to add pretty much all of this cheese. 
actually all of the cheese. I did add all that cheese. I do remember now. You're going to get this all mixed in. Remember that flour that we put in there and we cooked down? That is going to give it a very good cheesy and creamy flavor. It's going to thicken it up. It's going to add texture to it. Um, you can see I continually add that half. I, I believe it's, they're called half pints, right? I don't have it or else I would tell you guys what it is. But it's like it's not the full half gallon, but it's the little bit smaller one. You know what I mean? Um, I told y'all I don't do measurements. I, I cook with my eyes, guys. Do you see the stringiness? Okay, so it's not too 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 stringy but it is stringy enough as to where when I pour it in my noodles it's going to be perfect <laughs> I, I could have cut that out but why um so my noodles have been sitting over here the egg mixture has had time to warm it up but not warm it up to the like oh my gosh it's hot so I enlisted my honey to come over here and help me he's like babe what do you want me to do you doing everything and I'm like that's my job dude like stay out of the kitchen this is my location like he loves to help me but I'm like get away from me <laughs> as you can see it's really really soupy it's really really thick like you know like it's got a lot of juice in there but it's not so much that it's not like a good amount because as you can see we're gonna add the cheese okay you can use pre-grated cheese from the store but what i'm gonna tell you is and i don't know if you've ever heard this when they pre-grade cheese they put a wax film over it so that way it lasts longer in the stores i'm not sure if you are aware of this but that is how stores preserve their cheese and to be honest, I don't want all that waxy film in my mac and cheese and it doesn't give it any stability to where it will stick on your noodles. It's just grade your own cheese, guys. Take the extra step and grade your own cheese. So I sprayed the inside of my foil pan because when it bakes, cheese you know will get sticky and I don't want it to completely stick to the bottom of my pan so I added a layer and we're gonna do this in layers guys because it's way better this way so you're gonna add a layer of the mac and cheese then you're gonna add a layer I mean the macaroni then you're gonna add a layer of the cheese and then you're gonna just repeat the step um and the reason for this is that way when you go to dish it out and when you scoop it out, you are going to get a bite of cheese and noodles goodness in every single scoop that you get. You're not just going to get, you know, one individual scoop. Another trick that I like to use as I'm making my roux on the stove, I do like to add a Velveeta cheese inside of there. I will cube up some Velveeta cheese and I will add Velveeta cheese to that and let it mix in. <laughs> All right, so the baby just decides that she's going to yell and scream because the dog just decides she's going to nibble at her feet. So I guess that's what we're dealing with right now. <laughs> but yes, you can add Velveeta cheese in there, and I like to do that a lot. I love the Velveeta cheese in there. So then you're going to cover it up. I did make two pans of that. I didn't show you guys because didn't really figure that there was a need to show you. Um, what I am showing you is the ham. Oh, my, my, my. You see all that juice in there? My favorite thing is that juice and those pineapples. <laughs> those juices. Whew, let me tell you. You're going to hear me munching right now because I'm eating one of those corn dogs, those breakfast pancake and sausage corn dogs. I'm hungry right now, guys. Um, So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to mix this in. Just make sure that everything is coated. Put the foil back on it and then I'm going to pull it out of the oven and set it to the side and let it just soak up all of the juicy goodness. Of course, you know, your girl had to take a couple slivers for herself before I closed it up. At least I didn't use my fingers, y'all. I would have been hot, but at least I didn't use my fingers. <laughs> I could have picked at it, but I didn't. So, all right, here is the honey. Coming back, <clears throat> excuse me, based in his turkey again, look at how pretty she looks. Absolutely gorgeous. He did an amazing job.
All right, here is the turkey. I didn't do that, he did that. <laughs> but I can say it is absolutely delicious. He did a very good job. I'm gonna make some gravy from the drippings down there at the bottom. We got the neck in there, so we're gonna make some gravy from that. And then we have, let me pull you back. Bella. Got some dressing right here, some stuffing, whatever you guys call it. Smells so divine, so good. Let's see, let me show you what else we got. Mac and cheese. You're gonna see the pull of that later. This here is mashed potatoes. All of this is homemade by yours truly, me. Um, what else? Green bean casserole. Good. What's under here? Ham, candied ham. And then we got some candied yams over here. I'm gonna put some punch in there. Out of 10. 10 out of 10. You guys like that? Way less <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you guys what we got in here. Some, I got some cornbread roasting in here. Some jalapeno cheddar cornbread. So we are going, and we got some soda and stuff. This is my favorite kind of soda, the cherry flavored 7-Up. I love this. Um, but yeah, so daddy did the turkey. How, what do you guys think of his turkey? Ten, ten, Way better than yesterday. I love it. I want oh, excuse me, really? Yep. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, so Daddy made the turkey. I made all of the sides. I think we did a pretty good job. Your truly can cook. Yeah, I know. Look at that. Oh, look at the steam coming off of that. Oh, yeah. All right, we're finishing up cleaning, and then we are going to eat. Alrighty, so this is going to bring us to the end of our Thanksgiving. As you can see, Elijah decided to hurt his finger. They were outside playing football, what all men and boys do on Thanksgiving. I mean, if that's your family, that's part of the tradition, I guess you can say. But we called the emergency room and what they told us was they were extremely packed. If we can structure it and tape it up, then that's what we should probably do. Um, his pinky was going completely sideways, so daddy decided to get some sticks and pin it up and see what he can do from there. After that, we decided to go out and try and relax and sit by a fire. And daddy had one of his manly cigars. It's just what he likes to do. He likes to enjoy a nice glass of something and enjoy it. Uh, this was the next day. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the outcome. Um, it was completely twisted to the side. Turn your hand sideways, Elijah. Um, that's his pinky, and it definitely, I don't know if I can get this to zoom. Looks like a it looks, we were just teasing him. Why is it doing this? Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely looks like a thumb. It doesn't, <laughs> it does not look like a pinky. It's absolutely huge. Turn your hand. Look. This is my there pinky. you go. This now is my pinky. That's his other pinky. <laughs> that's that's my thumb right there. Happy Thanksgiving, Elijah. <laughs> so we are sitting here at the hospital. I have my feet up because I am just tired. But this is a ginormous hospital here where we live, and it's like we were talking. It is kind of like a zombie apocalypse because no one comes to this hospital. We live in a very small town, but this hospital is like ginormous. So for it being ginormous, I mean, it is huge here. It's huge, um, beautiful hospital. They, it used to run a lot and have a lot of stuff here and it doesn't anymore. So it's kind of just like a sitting duck, but it's absolutely huge here. Um, I wonder if like someone were to make this into a house, like that'd be so awesome. 
but I just it go, and it goes like back I kind of want to explore it but we're here they gave us Elijah's um, x-ray disc and I told him his finger is broken so they might have to do surgery and he's like are they gonna put me to sleep nope <laughs> so we're waiting to see what they tell us and see what we have to do going from here but this is how our thanksgiving is going how is yours going <laughs> do you have teenagers <laughs> hmm. elijah are you gonna break your other one i'll do it right now here <laughs> you're gonna break your other pinky so you have to have surgery <laughs> we found snacks so we're eating snacks and I am trying to I'm, I'm literally just sitting here I but I finally kicked my feet up because I was so tired and kicked my shoes off but yeah so we'll see we'll keep you guys posted okay what did you just say I don't think the color suits me you don't think what suits what color suits you that color yeah. you don't think the color suits you yeah well, it's definitely broken, people. He broke his pinky finger. And why does your thumb finger look a little purple? Is that too tight? No. Yeah, it looks a little it's tight a little on you. Tight. But he thinks that the color doesn't suit him. He says it should have been a camo color. Yeah. Lord, help me. Like a green, like a green, green. Oh my gosh, seriously? Yeah, like the green on that car. Oh there. gosh. All right, we wanna thank you so much for coming and spending Thanksgiving with us. Remember, you're not perfect, I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect, and that's perfectly okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We love you, bye-bye.